Hi, I'm Valerie from American Honda. In this video, I'll show you how to calibrate an indirect tire pressure monitoring system, or TPMS, using the steering wheel buttons and the intelligent multi-information display, or IMID. It's a simple process that's so really easy to do. An indirect TPMS doesn't use tire pressure sensors mounted in the tires. Instead, it uses the vehicle's wheel speed sensors to monitor and compare tire characteristics while driving. If it determines that one or more tires are significantly underinflated, it turns on the low tire pressure TPMS indicator to let you know. Because it relies on those wheel speed sensors, the TPMS must be calibrated or it won't work like it should. Calibration just means the TPMS learns the tire characteristics while driving. Calibration must be done anytime you adjust the pressure in one or more tires, rotate the tires, or replace one or more tires. If you don't do this, the low tire pressure TPMS indicator will come on and stay on. Now, before beginning this calibration, there are a few conditions that must be met. The vehicle must be completely stopped with the transmission in neutral, if it has manual transmission, or park, if it has automatic transmission, or CVT. All four tires must be the same type and size, and they must be set to the recommended cold inflation pressure listed on the driver's door jam label. And finally, the ignition must be turned to on. Okay, let's get started. First, I press the menu button, which takes me to the vehicle menu screen. Then I select customize settings using the plus and minus buttons and press the source button to enter my selection. Next, I select TPMS calibration and press the source button again. Then I'm asked if I'd like to proceed with calibration. I select yes and press the source button one more time. When the calibration is complete, I'll see a message saying the TPMS has been initialized. The TPMS automatically finishes calibration after about 20 minutes of accumulated driving going 30 to 60 miles per hour. And that's all there is to it. I've shown you the basic steps in this video, but if you'd like to learn more about this, just refer to the owner's manual. I'm Valerie, and thanks for watching.